Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I'm going to be trying to do an abstract version of Captain America's shield. Now you can see that I started cutting it out because this was actually a backup. I actually started doing this video. It got messed up so I had to start over. And I already had this one kind of started to cut out so I'm going to go ahead and use it. Um, what we're going to do is because this, this star and this inner ring is white, we're going to go ahead and paint the whole paper white and then just use the white as the white. But for the red and the blue, we're going to do some abstract, um, we're going to do some abstract lines, uh, basically like the Pollock style for the abstract lines. So let me grab some gloves and I'll grab a brush. We're going to brush the white on first before we do anything else. And then what we'll do is we'll slowly kind of cut down the shield. Uh, we're going to cut it into pieces and then we're going to layer the pieces, but we're going to kind of do um, like the, the layers <coughs> real quick. So basically we're, we're going to, uh, we'll just kind of layer it with those pieces and then kind of go from there. So first things first, I'm a realist. No, that's that's a joke. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and paint the background white. So we'll get that white on there. All right, so you can't really see it, but now we've got a clean white background. All right, so now while that's kind of drying in the background, <laughs> literally, we're going to go ahead and cut out our shield. So this part around the star is going to be blue, so we actually don't need that. Um, but what we're gonna, what I'll probably do is I'm going to layer the shield on the white background and then we'll just drizzle it and then move the pieces as I kind of make the design, if that makes sense. So we'll cut everything out. We'll cut out the star in the middle. We'll set that aside. Uh, we'll cut everything out and then we'll just layer it on top of itself. So, cut out the star, and what I'll actually do is I'll probably go ahead and hyperlapse this so you don't have to see me cutting for the next five minutes. Okay. So now we've got our pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and layer them out. We'll put the star here because the star is going to be white. So we don't need to paint that part. We just need it to kind of be there to keep the paint in line. And I'll go ahead and put these pieces around it for now while we paint the star. So we'll go ahead and overlap these pieces if they want to work with me okay good and there okay cool doesn't need to be perfect it's going to be abstract anyway all right so now we've got our our star here so the first color we're going to do is blue so i've got a blue here and we need to mix it up and i only want to use a little bit at a time so I'm going to use is I'm going to use a really thin paint stick. <clears throat> We're going to give it a nice good stir. This paint, if you've never watched any of my videos, this is gloss enamel. Uh, it's an alkyd paint. It's the type of paint that Jackson Pollock used. Um, and so we're going to be using it for this abstract Jackson Pollock type 
uh, Captain America shield. Okay, so now we've got our paint here, so we're going to carefully just kind of drizzle the paint around the star. And we don't want to use too much because we want we want the design, we want the, the splatter, uh, and we want it to show up. So we're going to just do a little bit here. And if my arms are shaking, it's just because uh, I had a long day at work, so <laughs> my arms are sore. All right. So I feel like that's pretty good um, for the, the center part, the, the star. So now, now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off the other layers of the Captain America shield. We're going to take off the red part, and I'll leave the star. And we're going to take off the outer parts of the shield and leave that part and then we're going to use red now the red is a very bright red this is the only red i have and the paints are diluted i did add water that's why they're so kind of they're like runny um, but just as a heads up so we'll go ahead and do our red part now and what i'll probably try to do is kind of get it from the edge of the blue and i'm gonna try to work my way out um, so that it, it kind of looks like it's splashed, you know? All right, and so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and actually I'll probably put just a little bit more around the edges just to really kind of solidify what it is that we've made. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we'll go ahead and lift it up. We're going to try to lift the paper off without destroying what's there so that you can tell what it is once the paper is gone. So, just use the edge of a knife here and see if we can get this up. Come on. All right. Well, it's not a star, but because it's abstract, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool because it, it doesn't look exactly like a star. Um, and then we'll go ahead and pull up the paper. And there it is. So I suppose if you didn't know what you were looking at, you may not know that this was the Captain America shield. Um, I think that you could probably add a little bit more red around the outside to kind of give it like a little bit more definition. So we'll just add a little bit more kind of where the circle is. Actually, what I'll probably do is I'll kind of go like a little bit in a circle and just kind of fill this in so it's kind of apparent on um, what it is and then I'll probably add just a little bit more blue around it to kind of fill in the gaps and then that's it <clears throat> so I'll go ahead and leave it I think it looks pretty cool um, I honestly like it and would even frame this. Uh, I might. It's very simple. Very. I think it's very cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. Give me a second here. And if it's super bright, it's only because it's dark in the room, so I had to adjust the brightness. Uh, let's see. If I take off the brightness setting. Yeah, see, then it's, then it's super dark. So give me a second. Let me just lighten this up. I'm not very good at doing this in the... The video editor so all right so there it is um this is the final piece 
you can kind of see the red. Again, I apologize for my shaking hands. And my arms are sore. But anyway, that is it, guys. I, I actually kind of like it quite a bit. Um, you know, if you want to do this, basically, I just, you know, you saw it. I had a stencil that I found online, cut it out, and just kind of did the layers piece by piece. But um, I may even make this available for sale very, very inexpensive. Uh, but if you want to do something like this, or if you want me to do more like this, please let me know in the comment section below so that I can do more cool stuff like this. And I have some ideas in the future, but uh, that's it, guys. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.